Hello, welcome to Math Hands On with Python, and today we are going to see how we can perform the t test in Python. We will do the t test for dependent groups and the paired sample t test. In general, t test assesses whether the mean of the groups or conditions are statistically different from one another. Now, let's uh, consider this data set. So, from this uh, data set, I'm going to test whether the mean weight of children born with the non hypertensive mother and those born with the hypertensive mother are statistically different or not. So we use this column labeled B weight uh, representing the birth weight of children in grams and uh, this hype represents the hypertension status. Zero means the mother is non-hypertensive and one means a mother is hypertensive. So now let's load this data into Python. We have the library which we are going to use and now I have loaded this data and cleaned the data for missing values. The function which I'm going to use is the research pi and basically the t-test gives two outputs the descriptive statistic and the, the inferential statistic. So from descriptive statistic I labeled it as summary we are going to get from this test also the results as the output for inferential part. So we are having the two groups. The first group, remember our dependent variable is the birth weight, and uh, the first group will be the birth weight for children whose mother are non-hypertensive, and this name of this group, I labeled it as non-hypertensive, and the second group is the uh, group of the birth weight of children whose mother are hypertensive and the group I labeled it as the hypertensive and I assume equivariance the paired argument as false but uh, basically this function uh, the research pi t test function uh, if you just stop here by default they are true and this one is false for the case of the uh, t test for independent groups so after that then you print out your summary and the results and see out what will be the output for the t-test for independent of groups. So let's run this one. So you see we have the two tables. The first one is for descriptive information and the second one is for inferential part. So we have the mean, we have the mean here, observation, we have the standard deviation in between, we have standard error and the uh, confidence interval. Also the second part uh, is the table for independent of t test. Then we have the t test and the p value. So it shows that uh, the mean weight for children born uh, with the non-hypertensive mother is statistically significant higher than the mean weight uh, for the children born with the uh, mothers who are hypertensive. So these results here confirm the observations from a descriptive table for the weight of children whose mother are non-hypertensive and for the mean weight of children whose mother uh, we are diagnosed as hypertensive. So for the case of paired sample t-test we need to have uh, two groups with equal observations. Now by looking on this uh, first table for the descriptive part you can see the weight of children whose mother are non-hypertensive. The observation is much higher compared to uh, birth weight of children whose mother are hypertensive. So we are going to create a sample from the main data frame which will have equal observations for the two groups. So this is the way of getting the samples and we basically uh, create a data frame uh, which will comprise the two columns of the two samples and as you can see I created the uh, two columns by grouping the birth weight by the hypertension status and then picking the two columns from this uh, main frame okay and have them differently then sorting out the samples for each column and then reorganizing them into a single data frame with two columns and let's show you what I have I'm stopping this output for the uh, independent t-test so the output for the data sample 
we are going to have like this one you can see I have the 50 observation for a birth weight of children whose mother are non-hypertensive and the, the birth weight of children whose mother are hypertensive and then from this part here then I go back to the uh, t-test function and insert the two groups for the birth weight of children who are non, whose mother are non-hypertensive and the birth weight of children whose mother are hypertensive and I assume equal variance and now paired here is true because I have equal number of observations okay so I'm stopping the output for the sample and I'm going to run the output for the descriptive statistics for the paired sample t-test and the uh, inferential part so running this one we are going to have this one you can see this is the paired uh, sample t-test we have the descriptive part and the inferential part still you can see the p-value is less than 0 0.05 that means we have a significant difference in birth weight as you can see if there is a difference and that difference is significant with this p-value here and the t you can see is there so this is how you can perform the t-test in python but also uh, you can perform the world test when the variance or the uh, eco variance assumptions is false while the paired is false so if paired is false and the assumption for equal variance is false then you have the world test and also the Wilcoxon signed rank test uh, you can obtain from the same function uh, but he also it uses the argument for equal variances as false but paired as true uh, note that when you perform the Wilcoxon signed rank test uh, it gives only a single output so you have to eliminate one of the uh, output and give the name of the uh, output result which you want to uh, see from Wilcoxon so thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe like comment and share this video until next time goodbye